It's Bergomi! It's Bergomi! The homie Bergomi! This is where you want to test Bergomi now. Look at the space he eats. Look. See that? That's, that's what you want from that build, man. Speed, defensive capabilities, aggression, power. What's going on lads? Welcome back to the channel. And <laughs> Did we get Bergomi? Yes we did. Is he the best right back in the game currently? Probably. <laughs> yeah boy. We're going to get into it. We're going to go do a deep dive as we usually do. Gameplay, best build, comparisons between other right backs that are beasts as well. And talking about what he does good and showing you exactly what he does. We've tested him, we've played with him, we've played divisions with him. And we've tested him in different formations and tactics. So let's crack on with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any feedback in the comments below. Let's go. So we're going to focus on four main areas in this Bergomi review and this breakdown. Attacking and defending as a right back, which goes without saying. Of course, the best build and comparing him to who I consider to be the best right back currently in the game for me, which is Mr. Juan Basaka, who's an absolute demon, right? Now, the best thing about Bergomi is his defense. You can train him as an attacking option, but you'll see here, lads, he's kind of clumsy on the ball in terms of his like touches, his left stick dribbling. When you, when you compare him here in the same clip right here, you can see him. He's kind of a little bit clunky. Obviously, you can override this a little bit if you want to tr train up his tight possession, which would control that, and his dribbling a little bit more. We haven't trained that with this build. But look how slick Carlos is, because we're going to be launching attacks with Carlos. With Bergomi, I think it's a disservice to use him as an attacking option. It's like Wambasaka. It's like using a CB at right back. You want that defensive capability to be first and foremost. Now, yes, he can still create chances if you do the simple thing right he can still make some killer passes we'll see at the end of the video but i do think that defensively he's so aggressive he's very fast mobile versatile his positioning as you'll see in one of the clips here from the ai is extraordinary one of the best that i've played with even in my short time playing with him we've only got a couple of hours gameplay in with him and he's just a beast man he's an absolute demon to defend on the wings because look most players are going to come in narrow they might have it out wide they might do a trick or two but if you're able to kind of just shadow and shield and not commit too much with a player like Bergomi by the time that he gets the ball in it's going to be too late because you'll have your back line defensively solid okay and unless you're making really really rash challenges like this we're out of position here at Bergomi. We can get back very quickly because he's so versatile and mobile and fast, and he has to spread it out. Now, the biggest strengths of Bergomi are going to be what he does off the, off the ball, um, and that might sound kind of counterproductive to what you want to be doing with a defensive first right back, but I definitely think that he can still win the ball very aggressively with this build. You're seeing this build in full flow here. He's still able to hit passes like this with the stunning pass because it's gameplay-centric and animation-centric. It's not defined by stats with these passes, and we're on the counter-attack. But it's all about his strengths, man. Look at the ground he eats up here. He's like Kante. These players are super overpowered in the game at the moment. They've got the perfect balance of speed, stamina, defense and aggression and that's what you need with the current gameplay at the moment even if you're playing possession because if you are out here right we'll take a very good clip here watch how much work the ai does for me i'm out in the deep waters with Cooley, lads out with Koulibaly. coleman versus Koulibaly. he cuts back in uh bergomi isn't even in the shot until he comes back with the ai then i take control i override the system and then we're going straight in with bergomi to try and get a foot in which we do and this ball looks like it's gone but from nothing, we get on the 60th minute a brilliant chance to break the ball down and go forward. This build that you've seen can do it all. In my personal opinion, this is a beastly build. If you play a little bit of possession, you do need to kind of look at the dribbling. So that is why I kind of have tweaked this slightly um, by kind of like playing with him a lot and testing a few things. But it's 6 7 7 6 11 into dribbling, dexterity, low body, aerial, and defense. And that's going to give you a stat line of this, right? So this card is a very, 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 very good card. I don't think that there's any other card there that kind of comes close to this if you're playing him as a defensive right back, apart from maybe Cafu or apart from maybe Wambasaka, who I just have a personal appreciation for because he's never let me down across multiple profiles. Wambasaka is still my main man. Bergomi going and him are going to be battling it out. But yeah, the skills to train on him then as well. I know a lot of people will ask for this. Blocker is a must, even if you're using him as an offensive build. I think it's a waste to use him as an offensive build. It's kind of like using Salah or Messi as an AMF. I think it's kind of a waste for what they're good at in the game. The rest of the skills go without saying. It's just defensive uh, superiority with the aerial superiority and the acrobatic clearance. Now, we're going to take a very key... Uh, comparison here between Bergomi and Wambasaka. Both very similar height, weight, uh, both are the same play style, that defensive fullback. 
very similar cards, strong, physically fast, mobile, versatile. You can see that the rest of their stats are quite solid as well with that ball control, the dribbling, the tight possession. All of those stats are pretty much lock uh, and key with each other, right? Now, speed, Wambasaka is actually faster for this build that we've gone with and his tackling is actually better. But defensive awareness is where Bergomi is going to shine with that 92. And of course, the aggression, Wambasaka is going to be much more. So look, if you have Wambasaka, you have this version of Wambasaka. You don't really need to spin for Bergomi, especially with the fact that Wambasaka already has blocker on his card. So if you do have Wambasaka, you already have one of the best right backs in the game. So it's kind of a it's kind of a personal choice. You might ask me as well about the passing. I'm going to show you a clip here, and this sums up what I've been trying to say for a while. You see that Beckham-esque opening of the shoulder pass that splits the defense and to the on-running Cruyff who slots at home. This is kind of a gameplay-driven animation thing where some players can just do this regardless of their low pass stats, regardless of whether he has low lofted pass or weighted pass. I, I talk about this a good bit on my live stream. We'll be covering it again tomorrow on tomorrow's live stream as well. Kind of gameplay driven stuff, animation driven stuff rather than statistical driven stuff. The stats help in a big way, but also the animations are very important as well. So if this video, lads, if, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Bergomi is now the top geezer in this game at right back? I would say he's in the top three, definitely with Wambasaka. Who's my third? I'm still kind of thinking about that one but let me know what you guys think he's a top class right back with a little bit of investment into his skills and this training guide i think you'll do wonders with him he's a beast he's able to cover so much ground and uh yeah i mean he's one of the best in the game by 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 far and i think he's actually probably better than maldini in this pack which is a big statement but i definitely will stand by it i think so yeah that is it for me lads don't forget we will be streaming tomorrow so hope to see you guys there don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content peace